Hi, my name is Diasha. In our previous lesson, we started to look at the reactions of the alkaline earth metals by burning magnesium and calcium in pure oxygen. We observed that both these substances burned with a distinctive colour flame. We also saw a white alkaline earth metal oxide forming with each of the reactions. In today's lesson, we will be focusing on the reaction of the metal oxides in water. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the observations of the reactions, name the products, and write balanced chemical equations for the reactions. Let's jump right in and look at the experiments. When water is added to magnesium oxide, we see that the water turns a milky white. What does this mean? Well, it means that only some of the solid dissolved in the water. We say that this substance, magnesium oxide, is partially soluble. Let's clearly define this new term, partial solubility. Partial solubility, when a substance dissolves incompletely in water. We know that magnesium oxide is partially soluble because we can see the little bits of undissolved oxide floating in the water. But has any of the magnesium oxide dissolved? Well, we can test to see if the water has changed pH using red litmus paper. When a piece of red litmus paper is dipped into this solution, it turns blue in color. What does this mean? It shows that the solution is basic. This also shows that some of the magnesium oxide has reacted with the water to form a new substance. Can you work out what this new substance could be? Let's try a practical modeling approach to make this clear. I have cut out cardboard circles to represent the atoms of each element. Here is the magnesium oxide. The blue circle represents the magnesium and the yellow circle represents the oxygen. This water molecule has one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. Now in the reaction we observed the magnesium oxide and water joined together to form one new compound. The product must have one magnesium atom, two oxygen atoms and two hydrogen atoms all joined together. This new product is called magnesium hydroxide. The formula is written as Mg open brackets OH close brackets 2. Right, now we are ready to write the chemical equation for this reaction. The word equation for magnesium oxide in water reads magnesium oxide and water reacts to form magnesium hydroxide. Remember, the next step is to convert the word equation into a chemical equation and to make sure you write down the correct formula for each substance. Magnesium oxide is MgO, water is H2O. Magnesium hydroxide has a formula of Mg bracket OH close bracket 2. So here we have the chemical equation for this reaction. MgO plus H2O react to form Mg open bracket OH close bracket 2. Let's check whether this equation is balanced. You may want to draw up a simple table like this one. Elements on left, one atom magnesium, two atoms oxygen, two atoms hydrogen. And elements on right, one atom magnesium, two atoms oxygen, two atoms hydrogen. As you can see, the number of atoms of each element is the same for the reactants and for the products. This means that our equation is balanced. Now, get ready to observe what happens as we repeat the experiment using calcium oxide. As the water is added to the calcium oxide, we see that once again, the solution that forms is milky white in color. We can conclude that calcium oxide is also partially soluble in water. Some solid particles remain undissolved in the water. When red litmus is dipped into the solution, it turns blue. Once again, this indicates that the solution is basic. 
This shows that some of calcium oxide did react and must have formed calcium hydroxide. Now, we must write the chemical equation for the reaction of calcium oxide and water. Here is the word equation. Calcium oxide plus water reacts to form calcium hydroxide. The chemical equation is CaO plus H2O reacts to form Ca open brackets OH close brackets 2. The last step of course is to check that the equation is balanced. Look at this table to see if the number of atoms of each element present before the reaction is the same as after the reaction. We conclude that the equation is balanced as the atoms of all the elements on the left add up to the elements on the right. Can you see the pattern in the chemical equations we have written so far? Let's take a look at those equations again. MgO plus H2O react to form Mg open bracket OH close bracket 2. CaO plus H2O react to form Ca open bracket OH close bracket 2. I'm sure you're beginning to see that elements from the same group react in the same way. Now get ready for today's task. Write the balanced chemical equation for barium oxide reacting with water. That is all for today. Please join me for our next lesson where we will move on to investigating the reactions of some of the transition metals with the oxygen in air. Until then, goodbye.